Hello everyone, Ryan from iOS Mars here today. I just wanted to show you uh, how to use an external MIDI controller, uh, run it through MIDI Bridge, and split up our controller so that half of our controller will control app 1 and the other half will control app 2. I'm going to use Audio Bus today just to uh, keep, uh, keep my uh, programs running in the background because that's very important for this. So we'll, we'll, uh, you can put um, any you know any output app you want in there to record the results and and whatever effect you want but anyways today I'm gonna show you uh, I'll show you how about iGrand we'll use iGrand as our as our number one uh, app I'll pop back in there and give it a test okay it's definitely not accepting any me uh, by default so pop into our settings here and I'm going to put this on Omni Channel. There we go. So we'll put uh, we'll put this back on channel one actually, so that uh, it'll it'll be in our our uh, our uh, this half of our keyboard when we're done setting up. So let's go back to uh, the Audio Bus app, and we'll open. Uh, I use any Moog a lot, so I'll try something else here. How about uh, Magellan today? We'll use Magellan as our uh, second half of our app, or of our controller. You know, uh, everybody's going to have a, you know, you all have different uh, MIDI controllers, and uh, they may plug in through the camera connection kit like mine does, or it may plug in through, um, you know, iRig MIDI or a different interface, a dock of some kind. So um, it's really up to you uh, to figure out for your specific controller how to set things up. But you know, uh, one of the things I'm gonna say is, uh, you have to take your uh, channel and uh, set it to like channel eight or nine. We're just gonna be using channel one or two here, so we actually don't want the key presses to come through <clears throat> come through on the apps as uh, as we're we're pressing the keys we actually want to route it through MIDI bridge and send it to where we want from there so let me pop over to Magellan here I'm just gonna pop onto the preferences page where uh, you can see the the synth ins uh, for number one channel and number two channel so I'm just gonna turn the number two to number three and number one to number two so we're not going to use number three but number one is our horn here so, so it's just a simple horn sound so basically we're going to end up with a piano and a horn so now I'm going to pop on the MIDI bridge and we'll begin to set this up so uh, the first thing I'm going to show you here is uh, that my, the name of my MIDI controller is the M Audio Key Rig, so it pops up actually saying Key Rig in here, which is really nice. So to connect this to the other apps, which are over here with Magellan and iGrand Piano, are both on this side. We'll just select our Key Rig, and we'll press the Magellan, and then press the Grand Piano, and now uh, our Key Rig is technically sending to both these apps simultaneously. You know, if we have our MIDI controller on a uh, Omni channel, then uh, it would actually play both of these apps with every key press, which is kind of neat in itself. But uh, we're going to go a step further and actually separate them so that we can play two different apps separately. So it's really, really easy what we do to split these up. There's just this. Uh, in these, uh, sorry, I'll go back and say here, the little beaker looking uh, thermometer, I don't know what it is, a little blue icon, um, you click that to get the settings for whichever app it is, and uh, we're just going to use Node Splitter, so just turn it on by clicking that little box, and it's actually done now, but you can get some further options by clicking there, and we can set up exactly where it's going to split. But uh, this is good for what we're going to do. So um, now we should be uh, re actually ready to go. If I pop back here. Sorry, I clicked the top bar accidentally. And we should be ready to go. So indeed, we have a piano over here.
and we have our horn over there. So we could actually play these two apps at the same time. So there you go. That's how to how to split up your MIDI controller keyboard using uh, MIDI Bridge and send it to two different apps. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, we'll see you again soon.